Uh, the president having to make the argument against sanctuary <laughs> states. I, I mean, this is this is preposterous that a president would have to do so. Uh, your thoughts? Well, I mean, it's like he has to be a law professor to explain to the people in California you're violating the supremacy clause of the Constitution. You're also violating a myriad of uh, statutory laws, one of which makes it a crime five years punishable for concealing or shielding illegal aliens. And then the Oakland mayor is obstructing justice, aiding and abetting after the fact. I mean, come on, people. I would truly like to see the Department of Justice start uh, indicting mm -hmm. city and county and state officials. You know they're gutless, and you know this attorney general doesn't have the stomach for a fight. Uh, and it just it's just not going to happen. He's taken under advisement right. of what he's going to do with prosecuting the mayor of Oakland after what she did. Criminal illegal immigrants, some of them rapists, uh, set free because of her warning. It's, it's irresponsible, it is unconscionable, it's illegal. Well, unfortunately, and I'm sad to say this, that uh, Jeff Sessions, as Attorney General, is the most feckless and incompetent Attorney General we've had in modern American history. He's incapable of doing the job. And Rod Rosenstein, the Deputy Attorney General, is the most presumptuous SOB. <laughs> uh, talking about Robert Mueller is not an, uh, an unguided missile. If so facto, he is a guided missile aimed directly at the presidency of Donald Trump. That's right. It's ignorance on the part of Rosenstein, it's arrogance. Well, and it was ignorance on the part of Rosenstein to even appoint a second special counsel. Under the law, you have to identify a crime. Collusion with a foreign government in a political election is not a crime. I wrote that a year ago, and I've yet to see anybody point to a criminal statute in our codes that makes it a crime. So it was an illegal appointment to begin with and then he compounded his felony by uh, by giving a clause in the appointment that said oh and anything else you might find along the way you the, know the be kitchen, great. The kitchen sink uh, right. uh, uh, amendment. Uh, democratic corruption in all of this, uh, collusion in all of this and the judiciary and oversight committees, neither, as uh, uh, Congressman Meadows, Congressman Gates point out, will pursue aggressively, energetically, that investigation. Two out of 20 witnesses from yeah. last October have been interviewed. I don't know what Trey Gowdy is doing other than twiddling his thumbs, and he's a severe disappointment. He did, I will give him this much, call for a second special counsel. Ultimately. Gowdy. All the way oh, yeah. until the week. Oh, yeah, which, kicking and screaming, yeah. right? But this is a, one of the few members of Congress that actually saw the FISA application. He knows the deceit and the concealment that was perpetrated by the Department of Justice and the FBI that demands a second span is, special counsel. He's playing Hamlet here. Right. And it's, it gets very tiresome, particularly when the people's business uh, requires his energy, his focus, uh, and his achievement. And none of the above seem to be at play here. Yeah. It, Two people out of 20? I mean, <laughs> what are you doing with your time, Trey? Wake up, uh, smell the coffee, and uh, get on the job. And so